Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Ghostbusters. And I am not going to waste any time. We've got a city to save, and we are jumping right in. What? Yeah, it was in there. In his handwriting. In pencil. He wrote it in when he asked me to get his coffee. Anyway, I can take a half day on Monday if they evacuate the city. All right. Goodbye. This is collective bargaining when one person is the collective. Alright, I'm just slipping this in really quick in the edit because at the time I'm recording this, this video goes live tomorrow after the rest was done like a week or two ago. Uh, but one of you told me I have to flush the toilet in the basement. My god! Oh my god, wow. Alright, I am so glad you told me to do this. I love how there's actual substance to these easter eggs. Well, maybe I don't want to use the word substance right now. Let's go. Just once, I wouldn't mind running with these other ghouls away from the trouble. Where's the fun in that? I love how I'm the one that traps us in the level. It's a video game, so it has to happen, but there we go. No telling how powerful Peck has grown. That means we gotta take the Ecto one. I'll drive. Maybe the trainee should drive. Nah. Yeah, you cut that feature. Any ideas? pretty spry even with that hundred pounds of proton accelerator ow that was that was ow there that's just one of your regular voice lines make your way around to the other side and open this gate for us whole lot of there between me and the control. Well, let's do it. I gotta say, I'm just loving the self-aware jokes in this part. Wow. Look at the storm system building above that tower. Remember the last time we saw that kind of atmospheric disturbance? That's right. At Dana Barrett's building, the night she turned into a dog. Nice timing on the howl punctuation. First artifact, whistling bust, bust of Mouse? The stone bust just won't meet your eye, no matter how hard you try. Circa 1734, Friedrich der Mausch was a sneak, and was always up to something. His bust, carved by the Italian genius Mars Capone, is the exact same way. Well, I guess that's what they mean by immortalizing. Yep, that's, yeah, no, I, that's why I was taking it so slow. Oh no. I should have known, you're recruiting all the most powerful killers in New York, Skeletrex is one of them, and he's brought his friggin' bonies. I'll tell you what, the Bone Brigade's not gonna stop me. Did not expect that to actually be destructible, but when, when nothing actually came for me, I kinda figured. Maybe that's the tutorial telling me the gravestones are destructible. I don't get it. We shut down the Mandela. How can all this still be happening? In the Gozerian Codex, it's written that a blood sacrifice and a tremendous amount of spiritual energy are needed to generate the supreme destructor form. 
A destructive form again? Heck probably couldn't draw sufficient energy from the mandala before we shut it down. He found an alternate source in our containment unit. The energy of the escaped ghosts from our grid might be enough to produce a cross-dimensional event in itself. Yes, and with Alyssa here, I'm sure her Shandor ancestors aren't far behind. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that plot point, by the way. I mean, it kind of makes everything we did feel sort of pointless, doesn't it? Not to mention being a, a not as good rehash of the first movie. I don't know, maybe it'll bring it back and kind of justify it. But it seems like we've got goop soldiers on the prowl. Doesn't seem like we're getting any closer to the gate control, but I'll be honest, I've completely lost my sense of direction. Well, this place feels like a whole thing and a half. And now I know it's a thing and a half, maybe even two things. It was two things, a hidden ghost and an artifact. Cursed artifact, Ghostbusters mug and balloon. So it's the third piece of merchandise we've discovered, fourth if you count the DVD from the future. Uh, circa 1989, the Ghostbusters offered the souvenir mug and balloon as a service premium during the comeback phase of their career. And it's assumed that one of the escapee ghosts from the containment unit snatched these and carried them to the Central Park Cemetery. Even ghosts like to pick up a souvenir occasionally. A souvenir of their captors? That's more of a power move. Or a middle finger. Alright. Is it around the back of this thing, or is it more... over here? Yep! Flying skulls. Leading down into the crypts. Yeah, I kind of figured you would. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Yeah, I know. And yet you trapped me. So now we're both getting something we don't want. How does it feel? Maybe we can... Can blast this away. But it's pretty tough. Even the boson darts aren't fully clearing it. A dirt tunnel is not where you want to be when experiencing tremors. Especially not the movie tremors. Wow, bodies are falling into this hole. Speed it up there, tiger. Uh, I'm trying. You guys are just obnoxious at this point. Where am I going? I can't see a thing. All of you admit it. You would be scared if you were doing something in real life and a skeleton popped out. Unless it was helpful. Darwin, thanks for guiding the way. There's always one good one. You know, I'm noticing all these shelves are noticeably empty. Oh, and look at the decor. I think I made it. Boss, you all right? How's that gate coming? Uh, maybe this. Maybe this. There we go. That was shockingly uneventful. Oh, we've got the Super Slammer. I'll go with the intern. Nobody should wander around alone in this place. We'll meet you guys a little further on. That rickety fence was the only thing stopping me from just doing that. Okay. The sauntering pace feels designed to taunt me, in that case.
Yeah, so I saw that. I saw that, and the level just expects me to go on like I didn't. They aren't very happy about us being here. Anybody whose grave was used for this is guilty in my eyes. Mm. That's just a straight up standing corpse. You saw them too, didn't you? They think they're sneaky. <laughs> Let's spread out and flank them. And here they come. So, so much for that. Whoa. Okay, these are just straight up reanimated corpses, grave fiend. And just like traditional zombies of yore, shotguns work best, but you, I guess you guys do show up around these parts, don't you? And you've got little friends as well. Flanking means I go this way and you go that way. I know you're new, but that's basic stuff. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm the one that screwed that up. I'm not even gonna bother with scans, I just need to get out of here! I can see that. Scans. There we go. Uh, you, guys, you seem to be using mainly proton packs. This seems to actually be fairly effective. And maybe not. Better just blast them with the shotgun. I mean, that's always worth trying once on a given enemy type, right? And hey, if you can get close enough, it's never a bad idea. You, however, are ready to go. Get over here. It looks like Ray already threw out the trap, so... He is good for something. And there you are. You are going to be the first into the new and improved containment unit. Which we should probably render more sabotage proof, because it's been sabotaged twice by the same person. Come on. Yep. There you are. I want to learn about these grave fiends. Uh, well, first, cemetery crawler. Cemetery, clo cemetery closely related to imprinting vermin spirits. Like other scuttlers, these class two vermin mimics are powered by swarming minor spirits that animate gravestones and other funerary monuments. Because cemetery crawlers are composed primarily of stone, they are more resistant to damage than is typical for class two entities. And is another reason why it's probably best to spend as little time in haunted cemeteries as possible. If only that weren't our job. Oh, look at you. Gotta say, seeing those hideous shapes peeking out from behind trees was actually pretty creepy. Known to haunt cemeteries and other less official boneyards, grave fiends are semi-sentient, self-aware entities whose hatred and anger in life now fuels their malicious and highly antisocial behavior in death. Not a terribly imaginative or cunning fighter, your average grave fiend makes up for its simple nature by sheer volume, inhabiting as many interred skeletons and bodies as possible. These dangerous entities prove that the living dead are not entirely products of a fevered mind, or a tired genre. You know, that's really funny, because I'm pretty sure the Walking Dead survival instinct was the death of this company. Out of my way, use. If you didn't want to have your graves destroyed, you shouldn't have died. Is that a comeback I just heard? Sure, let's just investigate the crying woman in the graveyard. What could go wrong? Burning bush. This marble head cries, sobs, and wails. Not to mention shakes the ground under our feet. 
circa 1943. This statue originally resided with many others in a fountain in a quiet plaza near the Ponte Vecchio. Stories have it that, during World War II, a squad of blackshirts was brutalizing a woman and her small children. When one of the children fell, his head struck the rim of the fountain and he died instantly. The fountain's cherubs stirred to life at that moment, wailing and crying, beseeching. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the Italian. Indeed, the stone cherubs never stopped and made such an awful and pain-filled sound that the fountain had to be demolished by explosives. A single stone angel head was gathered up by villagers and hidden in a deep well until Mussolini was overthrown, which is the exact moment the head stopped crying. See? Genuine stories in a comedic environment, or rather, with comedic characters. Believe it or not, it actually makes the whole thing land better. You can do drama alongside comedy. And I'm not sure many would dispute that, but you can do it in a way that I think most wouldn't consider typical. Hey, it's taunting you. Yeah, shotguns. 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 But they always seem to be accompanied by cultists. Cultist summoner. Okay, so there's a boss cultist. And despite the narrow, linear nature of these of these paths, they actually seem to get around. They have a lot of maneuverability. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage, and there's not a lot I can do about it. All right, let's hit you with the Mason. It's not doing nothing, which is more than I can say about virtually everything else. And you guys die pretty quickly to it, so that's good. Alright, if we toss out a trap, one of you is ready to go right now. Toss on you. Come on, where's... we just gotta find the injured one. There we go. Come on, over here. We need to get you... you're getting caught on the walls. Come on. In you go. We gotta get that summoner. He's gotta be the priority. That's probably the source of these things, right? He's a mobile portal. They just move around so dang much. Oh no. If I go down now, that's it. Die. Trap out. You need to go right away. Come on. I can slam you. Oh, you just got stuck in a tree like a cat. Where's the New York Fire Department when you need them? You tell me to check my aim. How about you help with this? Oh, yeah, no, you totally get the assist on that. Spraying them with your beam at the last possible second. And that's how you do that. Can we move on now? I'd rather not talk about everything that just transpired. Except I do want to read about the Cultist Summoner. Mason Collider, of course. Once lesser leaders in Shandor's cult, these elevated cultists are now part of his paranormal horde of minions. Though they seem to possess elevated positions of power over the lesser cultists, these elevated cultists are all still utterly subservient to Shandor's will. Kind of reminds me of my employment situation. Are we going to kick this in or what? I found the flying skulls. So dark down here. Tell me to get this, or never mind. All right, young blood, it's all you. So what's changed? 
I just imagine I aggressively bump his shoulder as I walk past, indicating my disapproval. These guys have really fallen from grace in my eyes, and I've never been so hyped to be around someone. Yep. You know, if they had the ability to shape our path like this, why don't they just trap us? Spoke too soon again. Let me guess, we need that thing back. Apparently the keyhole for a large key. Well, let's chase him down. Oop. On the right. Uh, I can't... I just couldn't move for a second, that was weird. Like, I couldn't look. Oh wait, are you fighting something back there? I'm so confused, there's sounds happening everywhere. You didn't even see that. Where did you go? All right, whatever. I'm just going to move forward and assume you'll teleport to me at some stage. Oh, come on. I really don't have time for more artifacts. Thankfully, that's not what this is. There you are. I'm looking for you. This is back where we started. Hello. So are we just gonna finish killing all these things or what? There's the key. It's too heavy to carry ourselves. Get it back to the gate so we can keep going. There we are. Wow, that thing really chose to deposit it right here where we could get it. Come on. And here it is. You know, I tried to tell you about it, shoulda listened. Oh my. Oh, I didn't expect it to have a face like that. The other things haven't had faces. Jeez. Keep hitting it, keep hitting it, keep hitting it. Oh, it tried to break our key. Uh, let's just uh, update that spirit guide and perhaps see what it has to say. Grave monster. That can be read two ways. Grave monsters are creatures composed of animated cemetery debris possessed by hellfire and driven by hatred of all things living. These are slower moving, but exceptionally powerful creatures. Defeating a grave monster is not easy. Their accumulated cemetery rubble gives them an additional layer of defense, allowing them to soak up a lot more damage than commonly expected. So what would be expected in your eyes? Oh wait, what did it say? What did it say? Um, as far as weakness. Shock blast. Okay, let's try that. Wow, you weren't kidding. That actually works really well. Um, that's up to us now. There we go. You are powered by a lantern, ow! Okay, so I thought you were dead is the problem. Ow. Are you finally dying? Please tell me you're dying. Okay, so what did we learn? Removing your object of power doesn't actually kill you, it's just necessary. But it is actually really quite unwieldy trying to maneuver this thing through these narrow spaces. Especially with the invisible walls up above. And get in there, please. Please, please, thank you. Necromantic shockwave summoned Gozer back to our plane. Why didn't he assume a more effective destructor form immediately? I mean, the Marshmallow Man is scary, sure, but there has to be a better way to destroy the world. It's simple. When he enters our plane of existence, he must be locked into that form from our first encounter. One destructor form per god per dimension. I like it. Sounds like the kind of symmetry these things tend to operate on. Hey, so maybe I didn't choose such a bad destructor after all, huh? Dan Aykroyd, did you write this to absolve your character, like, 30 years in the future? I mean, not that I'm blaming you. Look, up there. It's getting worse. This isn't the Central Park I'm used to. 
You still have your wallet? I'm unnerved by how quiet this is. And how open this is. Oh no. There's there's artifacts. No. Must scrounge. I can't help it, I'm sorry. A strange black fruited tree. This tree's fruit matures and then is gone in a burst of smoke. A ghost fruit tree, circa 1983. The extremely rare and delicate ghost fruit tree was imported from the deepest swamps of Louisiana by horticulturist Fran Abernathy. Abernathy hybridized the plant with other strains that she never revealed to make it hardier and easy to grow in slightly less satanic climates. Sounds good to me. Either we're in trouble or we're dinner. Is there a difference? Hey, we haven't tested proton packs in the ring. That's what the recruit is doing right now. Great! Wait a minute. I'm wearing one too. That's true, Ray. How's it going so far? Do you smell any burning or experience any painful tingling? You'll be the first one to know. Or the second. Airstrike! Take those flyers out! Airstrike? Did you see those cherubs hanging from the tree for just that one moment? Okay, well, they're airdropping zombies, so this is probably the World War Z sequel nobody wanted. Uh, and there's a summoner. We've gotta, we gotta eliminate you first. Ray, can you please... Uh, I'm using this completely incorrectly. We need to hit you, and then do this. And just keep on spamming that. Oh, and it will, after we vent, keep going towards you. It actually enables us to... Uh, I'm so annoyed that I'm only now learning how to effectively use this, but okay. Um, Please, could you have the decency to fall somewhere? I can actually go! There's a big guy! Okay, we might actually have to change our priorities. It is slow, though. Uh, if I can do this right, or if I can get the slam... Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, please get in there. Please, come on. Oh, it's right behind me, isn't it? No, there's a zombie, though. Please, why aren't you getting in? Thank you. Hurry, 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 fast trap. Hurry, fast trap. Thank you. All right, now... Eliminate the zombies. I don't know if it's still dropping them in or not. And only now we can deal with you. Once more, shotguns. Alright. Shoot you right in the back. Thank you. You're a great distraction, Ray. Help! In a second. Pull that out. Switch to this. Nope. End this thing. Ow. Please don't. Oh, please don't do damage while I'm on the ground. Health looks like it's still high. And you are dead. Thank you. That was very scary. I was absolutely dogpiled there. How about you turn around? Keep it going. Wow. Very impressive. So are we done? I mean, I busted the ghost, killed the grave thing, and about 50 zombies. Are we good? Of course not. And seeing this open path leads me to wonder, could we have just stand, run? Why? Like, we're in a combat zone, we know. Right. That could be why. But then again, I learned long ago that the only reason you asked me to scan anything is if you want me to get jump scared, so really I don't trust much. Come on, wrong thing. Here we go. Your artifact of power is gone. And now you are gone. Rising out of the ground, fighting us. All these moments will be lost in time, like tears and rain. There we go. You only know one word. And here you are to break the gate. You know, I'm actually not too scared of you guys anymore. 
and with how quickly this upgraded equipment kills you. Uh, which reminds me, I should probably go and upgrade all my stuff for the achievement. We're at the end of the game. Yep. And boop, 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 boop. There meant to be mini bosses. I can literally boop you to death. All right, no, hang on. All upgrades, anything we can afford. Hundred four thousand, sure thing. Purchase all upgrades for the proton gun. Is there anything else we still don't have? Uh, stasis stream. Yep. PK scan improvement. I think that's about it. Yep, that's we got the achievement. All equipment upgrades. Well, we did some achievement hunting while we were at it. Oh, this all looks like... Look at these ragged and twisted gravestones. This is a set piece waiting to happen, I think. Oh, unless you're leading us in a different direction. Actually seems to be pointing. Yeah! Ooh. You know, just because it's cliche doesn't mean it's not effective. I shot you, but you know you deserved it. You just lost all of your health like suddenly. Yep. Okay, get rid of that. Oh god, that's a lot of ghosts. Right, let's finish killing you. Oh my how are we supposed to deal with this? Answer slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, that's the only way. And there's Grave Fiends. Uh -oh. It's a good thing this one doesn't seem to want to move until I drop the trap, of course. Then it wants to move. Wow. Die. Very impressive. Where's, where's, where's the damage boy? Don't cross the streams. Uh. You up? No. I tell you what, if we can start getting all your health down, which is quick and easy to do with this thing, well, you'll it all be so readily available for capture power. as soon as as is convenient, but oh, there's just so much going on. Just way too much, way too much. And that's what's really gonna kill me, is it just, it overwhelms you with enemy spam. Not at all convenient to get rid of. Ow. Please pick me up. Thank you. Right, get hurt. Pretty much all of you are available for capture, so Ray, where is your trap? Slam dunk. See, the thing is, in the beginning of a battle, what I'm realizing is that everything is stacked against you. They have the most numbers that they will have against you. But if you can start to capture just one, if you can eliminate anything from the fight, that's when things start to spiral in your favor. But it seems like you guys... you Do you regenerate health at all? It's hard to tell. It sure feels like it at times. Could be. Come on. There we go. You almost got away. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not until these guys are all gone. You know what I just realized? The librarian is at large again. And not in a good way. Let's finish you off. Let's do this Proton Pack style. Sometimes you just can't beat doing this the classic Ghostbusters way. Yeah, and now we actually can. Well, hello there. Ray, you guys all right? Man, there ain't nothing dead in this graveyard. Thanks for joining the party. I honestly love that line. to stop us from getting to that mausoleum. That's as far as I can go. You guys got a clear path for me. Ray, readings here are extremely unstable. Energy from the mandala and the escaped ghost is building up to a flashpoint. We don't have much time. So, let's do something. Let's do something. Let's do something. Oh, it does a counterweight. Wow, I did not even see that. Aww. Look at the smiley face on that gear. Look how cute it is. 
Alright, uh, slime then. No, oh, I see. We have to destroy the Mountain of Skulls. How could I have missed it? Destroying those roots make the ground less stable. What is that? That's a face imprinted on a casket. Was that ever like the norm? Was that a thing? If we blow it open, is there a... Nope, no bonies inside. The graves pushing up through here really did a number on this place. Walter Pack is going to have a lot to answer to from the city parks department. If we can prevent the apocalypse, that is. Okay, but did you hear that chuckle? That ghostly, mischievous chuckle? Just me? Alright. Hang on, got an artifact. Oh! Multiple artifacts, in fact. You know, I can't help but feel like this is some kind of very subtle poltergeist reference. The coffins floating in the pool of water. And of course, the whole point was that they didn't have coffins. Alright, now that this is dealt with... I'm assuming what we're looking for is going to be over here somewhere. Not you. The thing you're guarding. A leering skull. Looks like it's attached to a Roomba. The skull is overflowing with PK energy. The skull of Evo Shandor. Okay, that's a bit more significant than I was expecting. I was looking for a gag. Convinced that society was too sick to survive, Evo Shandor created a cult dedicated to bringing about the end of the world. He had more than a thousand followers when he died, and they made sure he was interred in dramatic fashion. Following hours of Gozerian rituals, his body was carefully placed in a dramatic, if unnerving, mausoleum. In the end, however, time and decay did to him what they do for all. With one exception, though he rests in pieces, Shandor doesn't rest in peace, and his skull occasionally lapses into ranting fits, and the odd soliloquies on disappointment and faded glory. Oh my god, I would love to have this thing on my desk. Can I keep it right, please? I mean, not only are we kindred spirits, it's also a nice trophy. I mean, I get to hear the lamentations of my defeated foe long after his death? Clear out those roots. And now to add to the job simulator argument, landscaping. Uh, so I hope you can fit through because I don't really want to be here. Not on my own anyway. This is quite the crypt he built for himself. Put the hose on him, Rook. Yeah, the hose. Yeah. Slime time. Oh, that is owned by Viacom and also possibly you. Daylight. For what it's worth. Let's head back to the surface. Hey, over here, a little help? We tried everything. Help. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Uh -huh. Well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock high. Ow. 
Yeah, I kind of figured you guys would be joining us shortly. Ow. I'm already down. I am already down. Okay, so let me guess. We're going to be grab and slam. Grab and slam. Sounds good. Yep, grab those babies and just slam them straight into the concrete. I don't care how cute they are. Oh, no. Uh, we could tether them, or I could just use this thing, and it's so much easier. And has effectively auto-aim. But, you know, have fun with that. You are just constantly down. Top priority has to be getting you up. But at least we have a visual representation of how many of you it can send at us. Yeah, it's place a slime tether. What do I care, man? Oop. Ow. I was holding the stick the entire time. I Oh my god, Ray, you suck. Oh no, do we have to sit through all that again? Yeah, okay, yeah, I can I can slam you into the gates, which is what I thought, but like there's no I have very little control over that. Oh my god, you ugh. The only hope we have is to stay alive. I literally just had one underground. Oh my god. One. Come on. One more. One more. Come on. We need, we need them when they're close. That's the thing. Did it do it? Okay. That was literally 100% luck based. The last one didn't even hit the gate. Hey guys, a little help? I bet we could pull these gates down too. Hey Ray, we got a chain or a winch for this thing? I didn't plan for a fun-filled day of off-roading with Ecto-1, so no. The tether might prove useful here. Okay, yeah, it usually does. Tether the gate to my bumper, and I'll pull it down. Okay, good. Give me a few more, just to be sure. Uh, it's literally not letting me. Come on now. Thank you. You guys don't think you're standing maybe a little too close? Oh my god, there's still artifacts? I'm not sure going underground now is Or no? Come on, Spangs, getting there is the fun part. Wait, there's still an artifact. A jar containing something from Meldehyde containing an unidentifiable golden organ. Archangel's gallbladder. Circa mid-1300s, an unknown Turkish merchant found this curiosity lying in a field. It has changed hands countless times since then. It has no known purpose or use, but instills a sense of well-being, and has therefore been treasured by each of its subsequent owners. As it will now be treasured by myself, I'm sure. Careful, this matrix is becoming increasingly unstable. Uh oh. Check that out. That's our next stop. Ever feel like you're being watched? Egon. What? Shh. Please. Get ready. Same drill as before. Hook me up again. I'll take care of it. Right. The tethers. Are you sure about that? I mean, this looks a bit heavier. Hands up. the tethers held. My fault. Miscalculated. Winston! Oh, man. Damn. It stopped. For real. Acto-1. She's tough, but she took that pretty hard. Can you get her rolling again? Nah. Crickets. She's down for the count, guys. I hate leaving her here like this. I know it, Ray. This is definitely turning into a bad neighborhood. But we've got to keep moving. Guess we're walking from here. Some of us have been walking. Keep your eyes peeled! I think we've got guests. I knew it. That's not... They're not even the guests I was expecting, but okay. I mean, something is happening with those statues, right? Like, 100%? Son. Come on now. Got the trap. Trap. 
Why would you even bring this here if the slammer wasn't going to be working? Scout, come on. You are not making yourselves easy to capture. Alright, let's keep these things off of you for now. Keeping the little guys off is actually a big part of how this goes. Zombies seem to be holding back, which is nice. Alright, you, next. Get down here. There we go. So satisfying when it works. When it works. This is fantastic. It's like a monster match. Priorities, Ray. Will they still find you? I don't know. There's, my screen is just kind of lights and movement right now. I'm trying to hide behind the thing. I'm just going to make it really annoying for the homing projectiles. Can't hide forever, sir. These tulpas seem to just kind of give up once they get low enough. Hold on there. Ow. Incoming. You know, maybe keeping everything in one containment unit isn't a good idea, you know? Like, maybe it's time for the Ghostbusters to expand, branch out. I'm just saying, it could be, it could be a wise move for both career and security. Keep your shirt on. Because we're now housing an entire cult. You guys realize this, right? What can unlock the gates? The glowing indentations are obviously keyholes. They are? Oh, sure. I see it now. Where are the keys, then? All right, so you guys are a thing. A uh, keyhead monster. Shock blast. As usual, it's the shotgun. Closely related to other bi-dimensional attractors, these golems have been bound to a will greater than theirs to serve as centuries has to eternally guard otherworldly portals and gates. Well, let's just shotgun you right up. Huh, wow, you're very, very hardy against the shotgun. I was promised shotguns would work. This doesn't seem to be faring much better, actually. We need far better damage output. Yeah, no, we're literally, we're all just dead in corners. I can't move, I can't move over any of this. Come on, come on. I saw you. Your, your thing was down for a second. Can I pull that out? Does that kill the golem? No, no, it does not. It only makes him angry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Please. Please. Please know a thing besides enemy spam. I'm, I'm literally just like, I'm waiting for people to get picked up. And then, yeah. Oh, my God. They're so incompetent, like... But it's not even the AI's fault. Like, thank God there's at least a checkpoint here. It's not even necessarily the AI's fault. The game is just spamming so much crap at you all the time. And it's just a battle of attrition, because there's so little you can actually do to avoid damage. Especially once the level's completely destroyed. And I seem to be the only one who actually, like, really hammers them. For the most part, their attacks are just to make it look like they're doing something. All right, let's, come on, let's remove that thing and kill you quickly. The real important thing is to get rid of you before the place gets overrun by the smaller guys. There goes your thing. And from here, it's just shotgunning to death. Come on. Ow. And yeah, you're just... <laughs> You're just pushing buttons and waiting for the thing to end. And then you were dead. And the day was saved. Are we done now? Yeah, we didn't forget about you, Winston. The producers did, but we didn't. Alright, so we need your keys that you dropped. Yep. And in you go. You know, I'm almost surprised it didn't keep the enemy spam up while we're doing this. Like, I'm surprised it didn't expect us to do this during the fight. Right, let's just bring this thing around. Again, there's no way to bring this closer to us. So if we grab it from far away, like, we just can't maneuver. Yep. Above me what? 
Oh no, stuff stuff is coming in now. Oh, the Charbs are back. Get smashed, baby. Are you gonna go in at some stage? No, you're just gonna get stuck against the wall? Thank you. Fellas turned out to be pretty helpful. This team can play, no doubt about it. Exciting guys, and somehow risky. Guys, bad news, it's an invisible wall. Wait, it's Ilsa. It's packed. Can we blast them? Just one's really hard. Nobody's gonna know. Easy, Bankman. Everything points to Peck being a pawn. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. It's the mayor. No, Ray, it's not. It's Evo Shandor. Shandor possessed the mayor, turned Peck on us to slow us down, and when we shut down his Mandela before he could get fully juiced, he hijacked our ghost out of the containment unit as an alternate energy source. Very good. And they say you're the slow one. Wait, what? Who says that? Everybody. What's the girl have to do with it? Taking her was necessary. To assume my own destructor form, I require blood. My blood. What about Gozer? I thought you built this all for him. I did, but he failed me. Twice. How he earned the title the Destroyer is beyond me. Anyway, I thought to myself, why worship a god when you can actually become one? Slime Yeah, that's the proper response to that. I got your skull, does that count for anything? Wow, you're already low. Oh, never mind, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay, Shandor the Architect, Class 7 Transformed Mortal Remnant. Though his early history is problematic and open to debate, it is known that Evo Shandor was a medical doctor who performed a lot of unnecessary surgery, as well as an architect of some renown. After World War I, Shandor decided that society was too sick to survive. On June 6th, 1920, he started a secret society of Gozer worshippers, numbering nearly a thousand, dedicated to bringing about the end of the world. It is now known that Shandor and his followers researched heavily into the paranormal, especially in the areas of pre-apocalism and ectoplasmic hybridology. During the same time, Shandor apparently also made some serious connections within the Gozerian pantheon, because following his death, he's undergone a complete transformation and has become a major Gozerian power himself. And his beard's not great either. More than I expected. That was close. Okay, so Good yeah, move. we gotta we gotta destroy the things. He's too powerful. It'll take all of our streams. <sighs> Help me. There oh, I see. You get damaged, but you gotta do that, and then we fire a boson dart. And that'll do it. Hurt you, hurt them, we win. This is actually potentially quite easy. There we go. Just keep zapping them. Just keep zapping them and we'll get them. No more for you. Wait, really? Uh... Now deactivate your pulse, and we'll cross the streams with the blast function. Wow, well, that was easy. Down, Me too. Me neither. I mean, who decided to reinforce these shoulder straps? Yeah! I should have known. I really hey, should have. Where's your destructor form now? Leave it in your other suit. I have chosen. Was someone waking out of their nap? Oh no. That's very bad. The architect? <laughs> that's not so scary. The contractor, that's who kills you. Peter, you don't understand. He's the architect, and he controls Ghost World. And he can come into our world. And what do architects do? I... They have automatic pencils. I don't know. I will pay all your ears to see. 
Supervillain threats, right? All those guys talk like that. Oh, you're you're a thing. Uh, we can't turn you into Stay Puffed. Well, I can't seem to get a scan of you, but uh, maybe maybe we can do something like this. Somebody's already down, but you're absorbing this damage like a champ, I'm afraid. Yeah, those are actually the real threat. The big guys, they just never seem to have anything that can actually hit you. Oh no, you can heal. Uh, fire. Fire. How do we deal with this? Nothing seems to be killing your regenerators. Do you just have a deceptive amount of health? Is that how this works? Oh no. That was kind of cool, seeing the beams chase you. Okay, fire tornadoes, fire tornadoes, new attack. Uh, I'm just really hoping you're not going to start, you know, regenerating again, which you will. I know. Don't let it recharge. You know, you say that, but I don't know how to do anything about it. This thing over here does... Oh, it just breaks. Wasn't doing that before. Not at all, in fact. Well, we can, but I'm going to need some help from you guys. All we can do is minimize its healing. We cannot stop it, it seems. Give it to him. Stay calm. Help your head is obviously your weak spot, but uh, that only does so much. Okay, I'm just I'm mostly letting you guys take care of the reviving. It's shielding itself. Don't let it recharge! Uh, no. Alright, uh bang. That didn't do anything. You guys will actually hit them yourselves independently, which is good. You. Don't let up. You're so low. If we can hit you here, if we can get you here, you're pretty much done. One. All right, we got one directly on your head. That means they'll home in on it. Although I don't know if that holds true if you move. More. Come on, two, two, two. Automatically destroy your thing. We're so close. You're just spawning fire tornadoes on top of me, but that's cool because I'm a Ghostbuster and the suit is multi-talented. We can kill you. We can kill you before the thing starts. Come on. Uh, I, I hate boss fights where, like, it literally makes your fingers hurt. All right, there's one on the head. Keep firing. Uh, provided these things actually decide to hit. Come on now. Just, 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 just die. Thank you. Thank you. We eat gods for breakfast. I'm deactivating the cross stream governor. I never thought I'd say this again. Cross the stream. for breakfast? Too much, you think? No, I liked it. I've got you. Get me down from here. Please, New I'm begging you, let me You're down. Huh? <laughs> this is not the last you will see of me. Hey, fellas, what are you doing here? What am 
I doing here? Uh, where is here? You were the victim of a trans-dimensional possession, Your Honor. Uh, what's that mean? An evil ghost was walking around in your body for a few months. Whoa! Did anyone notice? Well, how's my approval rating? Well, you got reelected. <laughs> By the way, you're a descendant of Shandor. Yeah, I kind of got that. Really? What? So that was Ghostbusters, and you know, it is as good as I remember it. I was blown away by this back when it came out, and how can you not be? It's got the Dream Team back working on it, everybody's here, and it just feels like it. It feels like Ghostbusters 3 that we never got. And like I said before, Dan Aykroyd has actually gone on record saying this was Ghostbusters 3, essentially. Like, I believe it used ideas from the planned movie that never got made. And it's so cool how the gameplay itself feels like how the movie looks like it feels, you know? I mean, there's just so much attention to all the little things that made it so memorable. I mean, the collateral damage, the look of the beams itself, the gear, the equipment, the firehouse. Looks like things are going to be a little slow around here for a while. Oh, there's ending audio. We might be heavy by one too many ghost buses in New York. Wait, you're not going to fire him after everything he's done? No, of course not. Lewis has been scouting locations, and I think we're prepared to offer a potentially lucrative Ghostbusters franchise in either Chicago, Los Angeles, or Cincinnati. I'll pick. So, are you ready to expand the Ghostbusters family on a semi-equitable basis and be your own boss? And wear a very cool uniform. Financing is available. So, cadet, what do you say? You literally address every single thing I bring up. This is amazing. But yeah, I don't have that much to say about it, because it is a very simple game at its core. But you can tell it's made with love, both on like the writing and directing side, and on the actual part of the game designers. To make it the game I think Ghostbusters fans always wanted, and thought they would never get. I mean, I think most people assumed that you just couldn't make a game out of this that's faithful. But the combat was fun, if a little overbearing at some parts, like sometimes it did really feel, especially towards the end, like it was just spamming high health enemies. But at the end of the day, catching ghosts feels good. So what more can you ask for? The environments are beautiful, and the destruction and physics are so impressive, especially for the time that it came out. And it just really feels like they went above and beyond in a space where licensed games didn't and still don't often do that. And if anything, if any licensed game was going to get this treatment, I'm glad it was Ghostbusters. And if you like this series, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.